All right, everyone, here we go with an all signs reading. This is for September 2024. Hopefully you read my write-up on the month at sltblog.com right there on the home page. It is a hell of a month. Look, I'll be honest. Normally, the sep September is Virgo portion. The lead up to the, the, the equinox energy is, is pretty smooth. And it's, a, it's sort of a cleanup energy. It's a taking care of old business before the, uh, before the equinox. Be it your business, also the energetic business. But this year, the energetic business is chaotic. The energy is chaos. It's coming off a very rare and weird solstice season, as I wrote about. So again, I'm not going to go back over it. You can just read my write-up on it. It's been crazy. What you do need to know is this year, the Virgo portion, the lead-up to the equinox, has some crazy energy. It's like an energetic whirlpool, right? So it's still taking care of old business energetically. It's taking care of it in a very chaotic way. So for you out there, I mean, just to tell you guys, give you something about this energy, for you out there at taking care of your business, things are going to seem, well, they're going to seem more insane than they are. It's a whole lot of, you know, and I'm reminded of a story from a long time ago with this energy. It's really kind of strange. It, it, I call it the, uh, I call this energy the call the Krankenwagen energy. Krankenwagen means ambulance in German. I have a friend, he's from Germany, he's one of my best friends, and some, in, English is his second language. So sometimes he can't find the word, so he goes back into his uh, native language of German. So what happened one night is somebody he was at a party, somebody passed out, an ambulance needed to be called. He freaked out. He didn't know what the fuck to do. So he's just standing there, and all anybody can hear is this guy over in the corner going, call the Klankenwagen, the Klankenwagen. We don't know what the fuck a Klankenwagen is. It sounds like something Freddy Krueger or Pennywise the Clown would drive up and don't call the Klankenwagen. I ain't fucking on board for that. Right? It's just an ambulance. It's an energy... <laughs> It's an energy. It was really kind of funny. I loved it. I've, I mean, we obviously called the Krankenwagen. Same person was okay. But it's a whole lot of that. I want you to remember, we'll get a little Shakespearean here. All right? We'll, we'll dial back the German. We'll get a little Shakespearean here. I want you to remember the old, uh, well, you know, it sounds Shakespearean anyway. A rose by any other name is a rose just the same. Okay? I don't want you to go, this energy, it's going to make everything, this energy, especially in the first two-thirds or so up to the equinox in September, is going to make everything seem worse or more catastrophic than it is. Just like this Three of Swords that you've all been staring at and probably going, oh no, Steve's reading starts with a fucking Three of Swords. Holy shit, that's the surface energy. What's it, what, you know, calm down. It's all good. It's crossed by an Eight of Wands, forward movement, right? And there's your tower. But it, it, it's, this is smooth flowing energy. It's fine. We could take care of this business just like we normally could in a normal September. But it's going to feel like the house is on fire. Like the Klankenwagen is coming. Oh my God. Not the Klankenwagen. You know, that's fucking crazy. That's, that's Freddy Krueger's ambulance, isn't it? I mean, it, it sounds worse than it is. It is what it is. Everybody's perception is different. Everybody's language is different. Be careful about how you perceive things, okay? It is what it is. That's all it means is an ambulance. It's nice. It's nice in both languages, you know. But again, this energy will make it sound more urgent, more, just more powerful than it actually is, right? But it's all moving you forward. Again, there's another energy of moving forward with the eight cups. There's ten swords. We're at the brink. We're at the end of, of the beginning. Or at the end of something. And yeah, this is a powerful pre-shuffle. Yeah, I'm harping on the pre-shuffle. The surface energy alone is insane. I wrote about that. That's my whole fucking article on September about the surface energy. It's fucking insane. And it's just the surface energy. We're at a 10 here. 10's the end and dead end that lead to a new beginning. Don't. This is about, it's eight of swords about misunderstanding, misinterpreting. Relax. Freddy Krueger, don't drive the Krankenwagen. It's just a fucking ambulance. That's all. All right. Don't worry about it. This is we're just taking care of business here. This energy, because the surrounding energies are chaotic, they're going to make everything seem more catastrophic than they actually are. Everything. You get a sore throat, you will jump. I mean, a little a little sore throat and a sniffle because of some pollen or something like that, or some dust you breathe in. You will jump to. Uh, that's it. It's over. I'm done. It's done. You will jump to conclusions about all kinds of things. Be cool. Okay. 
Obviously, see a doctor if you need to. But I'm saying be cool. It's not good energy for hypochondriacs. Any hypochondriacs I have watched, this is bad energy for that. But we're taking care of old business here. Don't jump to conclusions, all right? Don't let it get you down. If something bad happens, it's for a reason. Again, the, your key here with this Four of Cups, which is red with this Six of Cups, is to sort of... It's sort of like what I said in toward the end of the write-up where I wrote about Mars and Cancer. It doesn't like small talk. It doesn't like things without purpose. Don't fight battles you can't win, right? If you think you be, feel free to be apathetic to, to your own attitude towards this tower type energy, okay? Be apathetic. That's the way to shut it down. To remember that a clanking wagon is just an ambulance. To not freak out because the word itself sounds a little, well, sounds like every, it's not something every villain would say from virtually any movie, right? So at the end of the day, it's not that. It's, it's just, it is what it is. Try to take, try to shut down this Eight of Swords with a little pinch of, I'll give you permission, the, the energy around you will give you permission to be a little bit apathetic, okay? Um, we got a brand new, pass, the Six of Cups is bookending the Three of Swords. We're resolving a lot of Three Swords type things from the past, but again, it's all going to feel like it's moving too fast. It's much worse than it is. It's all going to feel a lot of clanking wagon, okay? Clanking wagon. Oh, God, I still remember that. This energy just reminds me of that party. It's like, oh my God, man, chill. I got you. They're coming, but holy cow. All right, so what does this mean to the incoming energy? To somebody attached to you? Well, they fucked because they're not here listening to me. They're going to have somebody here attached to you definitely wants to talk to you about three swords. And I think somebody here just feels like it's do or die. It, they're they're going to have this do or die attitude towards it. Okay. Oh, God. gloom and doom. Oh, God. You, you've already walked away. Somebody else already snatched you up. Oh, God. It's over. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's a whole lot of oh, God. So that's why I opened this pre-shuffle telling you about this energy so you don't end up in that. Okay. But yes, somebody attached to you, any energy attached to you, if they didn't hear this reading, they fucked. Okay. They're just going to be fucked in this energy. Mm -mm. They're going to be like everybody else at that party where that person collapsed. And my friend was like, call the clanking wagon. And if there were actually people walking around, obviously, I called immediately. I mean, I figured out what he was saying, all jokes aside about Freddy Krueger and shit. But if there were actually people at that party walking around going, what's he saying? What's he saying? What do you think he's saying? Are you not able to deduce that there is a person on the ground? Uh, and our friend over here, Daniel, is standing over that person. Are you, are you serious? You can't figure out? I mean, those are people that would not do well in an immersion sort of thing in a country where they don't speak the I mean, you know, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Uh, it just blew my mind. So again, it is what it is. It just reminded me of that energy so much. Ah, uh, the clanking wagon. <laughs> All right, let's shuffle the deck. Give me the energy. Give me the soulmate cycle for September 2024. Look, I just want to help you survive this energy and thrive in it, okay? That's all I want to do. That's all I care about. This incoming energy here, I give you the same information I give friends. And believe me, I get tons of emails. I, I'm at the point now where I just send out an email blast to about 30 people, you know, just because I don't want to hear from each one of them. All right. Card before the cuts, why the fuck are we here? Let's find out. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. This reading is timeless. <laughs> Whenever you find it, y'all meant to find it. Well, it flew out reversed. We're going to keep it reversed. And it's, it's with a nine wands at the bottom. So why the fuck are we here? A full reversed and nine wands. It's gone to someone attached to you. This energy feels like gloom and doom. Like it's over, like the clanking wagon is coming with Pennywise the Clown at the wheel, right? And, and, and Freddy Krueger in the back. I mean, it just, it feels like gloom and doom. It's all over. It's done. There's nothing, there's nowhere, there's nowhere to go, nothing to do. Okay, somebody a little bit defeatist here, all right? I'm going to take that and put it back in the deck. I'll, I'll throw it, well, I'll throw it with that, okay? Uh, what comes after the cut? I need to cut the cards, so, you know, fuck it. What comes after the cut? What did I tell you? Look, I ain't making this shit up. I'm being totally straight. I didn't, I didn't spend two days of my life writing a 2,400 word report about the fucking month of September if it wasn't a big fucking deal. Okay? I don't tell you touching stories from my youth if it's not a big deal. It's a big deal. Okay? 
Somebody attached to you here, it's exactly what I said. They feel like there's nothing, nothing's happening in their life, nothing's going on. There's this, this, this gloom and doom sense of catastrophe. I mean, it can only lead to communication as far as I'm concerned. It can only lead to somebody doing something. You know, even if it's just spying, picking back up. I don't know. But let's find out. Let's go. All right. A rose by any other name is still a rose just the same. Please remember that. Remember that. All right. All right. And remember, the universe always has your back. <laughs> That'll keep you calm, too. I'll tell you what. All right. Give me a soulmate cycle for September 2024. And wake my ass up when September ends. I'll tell you. Oh. Like I said, every year I say that. Because every year September is something. But this year, it's a whirlpool of energy. It's a real clanking vodka. I might need one before the end of the month. All right, pulling on all these readings in this energy. I got to swim in this energy, right? I always say that. To pull these readings, I got to swim in the energy. I'm swimming in a whirlpool. I mean, man, and there's no lifeguard here, okay? I'm screwed. All right, let's go. Overall energy of everything that's going to fall on the table is five wands. Somebody attached to you, five wands. What's, 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 oh, the queen of swords. Somebody here. Somebody's making up their own truths. Somebody, the truth, oh, it's, yeah, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Somebody's making up their own truths. I, you know, I don't joke about anything that's not in the energy. I said at that party, there were people who couldn't figure out, just through basic deduction, what Klankenwagen meant. There were people who couldn't figure it out. He's there with a person. What the fuck do you think it means? So what we've got here is somebody is getting the truth, but they're just not seeing the forest for the trees. That, that benefits you if you're, if you're wanting to hear from somebody this month. Because this is all about, for the first two-thirds of the month, it is really all about wrapping up old business. It always is. It's just that old business is now a fucking whirlpool of energy. Right? You could look at it as a tornado if you want. Picture Dorothy's house and the Wizard of Oz flying through the fucking air. All right? It's a bit of that. Whatever you need to put in your mind's eye. All right, let's go. Right here is the energy around your connection. Right here is how whoever is attached to you, Mr. or Mrs. Tower Ass Chaos, fool, it's all over, gloom and doom. Oh God, I'm gonna what the hell? Okay, uh, is is the energy around them is here? Three D energy. Right here is their soul. It bookends your connection. Thank God. Right here is the energy, uh, the message from the universe, hidden energy. It's red with your connection. We'll see what the fickle old gal universe wants to tell us. And yeah, she a gal, and yeah, she's fickle in this energy. Right here is the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. Nobody can. I will clarify everything, throw some universe cards at the end, and you bet your sweet asses. And I know they're sweet because I can see them spinning around the whirlpool, right? That there's going to be a link for it extended in the description. I'm ready. You ready? Let's take a look here. Queen Swords. You know what? Let's just see what's under that. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. None so blind as those who will not see. Five of Wands, Queen of Swords, Page of Pentacles, my student. None so blind as those who will not see. All right? It's just like you can't just make up your own truths. Oh, okay. All right. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, if somebody's life wasn't on the line briefly at that party, I would have made up something for, for the people that couldn't figure out what clanking bog and me i would have made something up i would it means they need something from the fridge get them a beer quick you know i mean what uh, what the fuck somebody here is just kind of doing that with the truth what is up what is going on what's the energy around your connection yeah what did i tell you five cups one of the cards that ends the separation phase of the soulmate cycle it's five cups it's regret and sadness that ties to that fool reversed that we had that flew out of the deck Somebody here is upset with themselves that they didn't do anything. There's an undying urge to wrap up old business. And they get a little mopey. Can I say that? They get a little mopey here. Okay. Uh, 3D energy. What's, what's the 3D energy around this motherfucker? The Wheel of Fortune. What did I say? Rewind. You can picture this energy if you want. If a whirlpool don't work for you, then it's the tornado from the Wizard of Oz. Dorothy's house flying through the fucking air. Right across Kansas. This is a bit of that. This wheel is just spinning, spinning, spinning. Feels like everything is changing. Everything is wrapping up around them. Everything, it's chaos. It's chaos. There's a bird in the tree. There's a moon. The moon's backwards. What's going on with the moon? There's a, the sun. There's an eclipse. It's all... It, it, it. This, is like, this is like a picture of the month of fucking September all by itself. Eclipse and all. I mean... 
Their soul is here. So somebody feels it's chaos because the wheel is spinning. It's, you see? Look it. I just knocked it off the table. Soul is here. <laughs> right? The goat with its feet on fire, red with the five of cups. Uh, I said they're mopey. Right? Well, this is what the devil said. Oh, you'll never get them. No, nah, you blew it. They're, they're, yeah. The devil, it's not their soul. This is the, how do I phrase this? The devil energy can't get to the soul. Okay? And I, 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 people get this wrong all the time. I remember watching YouTube videos back in 2020 and people saying, oh, the devil took over their soul and all that stuff. What the fuck? You should just take your channel offline. You don't know how anything works. No, that doesn't happen. This is just static energy. The soul is angel energy. You are fueled and run by angel energy the way the fucking DeLorean and Back to the Future is fueled by plutonium. Okay? This is static energy. It can't get in there. But what it can do is it can surround the soul and make you think that it's just soul telling you how to do it. This is the same shit that makes the same frequency of energy. can play out a thousand different ways depending on the context. This is the same energy that makes a serial killer think that they're on a mission. That that person needs to go and I need to take care of it. And my soul is telling me it's a mission from God, they say to themselves. And no, it isn't. It's a mission from a goat. Okay? At the end of the day, it surrounds and this person here thinks they're listening to their soul, but they're not. That what the soul is telling them here is something very negative. It's telling them, you blew it. You blew it. This is, this is dangerous energy. I'm not saying this will happen to your person, but this is the kind of stuff that pushes people right to the edge, if you catch my drift. Right? Okay. We're going to have to clarify. We will. But this is serious business that this is here. Serious business. And, and it's, this is here for a reason. Why did I tell you... Why did I talk to you all about the pre-shuffle? Why did I write a 2400 word fucking article about September and just the surface energy to help you? Because this energy could affect you as well. It's the kind, when the energy is chaotic and everything's going crazy, you make mountains out of molehills, all kinds of things, right? A simple, a simple ambulance becomes a Krakenwagen and a Krakenwagen could be anything. It could be, oh my God, oh geez. This is this. All right, and this it creates doubt, it creates whatever, it creates just that. Yeah. Somebody getting trapped in this. Some, some somebody attached to you. I already said they fucked. They fucked. We're gonna find out what what they're gonna do about it though. Let's talk to the universe, okay? This is dangerous energy. This this combination with a spinning wheel here, three of pentacles. Um, they're shooting down ideas. It's, this is an, this is the same type of energy that makes somebody. You ever have somebody that's down and out? Right? They come to you for advice. Oh, this happens to me all the fucking time. They come to you for advice. They're upset. You listen. And then you offer them some solutions. And, they, and they're good solutions because you're in a good place. Your head is clean. Right? You're feeling good. You're, you're sharp. You're putting out some good ideas. And they shoot every fucking one of them down as though they want to stay like this. Right? You follow me? What did I say? This is the energy that creates that level of despair. If you got someone attached to you, or God forbid you suffer from depression, you best take my advice in this energy. All right? And chill. Read my article about September where I offer you some suggestions, especially where it ends. I offer you some suggestions. I, you know, it's the longest write up on a month I've ever done. And right here on the table is fucking why, especially that, and especially the pre shuffle. Okay? Uh, they they just shooting down. I mean, the, the, the solutions are all around them. Uh, and they just shooting it down. What's the potential final outcome, Red, with my spinning wheel? With this whirlpool, tornado, water spout, whatever you want to call it. Ace of Cups. Mm. Um, well, it's a bit of physics, right? We're not going to get it. This isn't a physics channel. We're not going to get in. You know how, like, when you're a kid and you spit, you fill a bucket with water? Every kid does this. You fill a bucket with a handle on it with water, and you spin the bucket, and the water doesn't fall out. Right? You just like spin it around like a lasso and the water doesn't fall out. Right? Okay. Anyway, we're not going to talk about forces and all that kind of stuff here. We're not going to turn this into physics 101. But that's about, that's about what's happening here. Okay? All this spinning is causing all the love to stay in the cup here. Somebody here and it builds and builds and builds and it becomes toxic as it stays in the cup. Somebody, somebody needs to yell somewhere in here in this middle stage. Somebody needs to yell, Calgon, take me away. So they end up in a nice bubble bath. Chilling out, calm, right? That old Calgon commercial from the 70s coming back again. All right. Go look it up on YouTube. You could probably find one. 
Right, some lady with kids all around the white life spinning, going crazy. Cow God, take me away. Next thing you know, she naked in a bathtub. Right? Oh, it's a wonderful thing. I tell you. Um, I don't know what this means for you. We're gonna flip this when I clarify it and see what the ace. I know what it means for them. It means that that the feelings become toxic. This person's spinning out of control. They're shooting down ideas. There's no talking to them because of this, and they think they're listening to their soul. So, so they're very sad because their soul, they think their soul is telling them, well, the connection's over. You're never going to meet anybody good. You're stuck in this life that you're in. You're stuck in the woe is you, right? But, but they're not listening to the soul. The devil has, the devil energy, this frequency of it has surrounded it. And it's giving them the illusion that they're listening to their soul. Happens to a lot of people. What about the, 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 the TV preachers that rip people off, right? Those people, all that kind of stuff. They think they're listening to the soul. They think God's talking to them. It's not. It's a fucking goat. Okay? Because I don't see anywhere in the Bible, which I've read many times, where it says you need to rip people off as much as you can. Steal from them. Get you get you a, a jet airplane. I don't see that anywhere in there. I, I don't think. I don't think it's in there. Okay? Pretty sure. Okay? But <laughs> I think it says not steal. Maybe their book had the not. On the steel thing, thou shalt not steal. Maybe not was missing. The printing press didn't work that on that letter. I don't. I don't know on that word. I have no idea what happened. Right. But anyway, five of cups. This affects a lot of people. Okay. There's a lot of people here. It's it's the energy that makes you lie. It's the energy that makes you think you're doing the right thing when everyone around you is going, "What the hell are you doing?" Right. You're crazy. Right. It's like that. Five of cups. Let's clarify. We're going to talk to the witches here. Let's do it. All right. Please, I encourage you to read my September write-up. I know already 22,000 of you have. It's been up a fucking day and a half or a couple of days at this point. When did I put it up? Friday. Yeah. <laughs> fucking unreal. Uh, please read it. All right. And understand that surface energy matters. Especially if you, you know, if you want to fancy yourself an energy reader, first thing you look at is the weather patterns and what's happening. Energy readers, real deal ones, they all they know as much as meteorologists do. Okay, they really do study it all, understand it because it's the first line, is the first thing that hits our skin as far as as far as energy goes. You know what's crossing this right here? The hierophant. And I tell you, it's red with that devil. It backs up everything I say. The environmental energy around all of this is someone who thinks the Pope or the priest is telling them that, that this, it's all done, it's over, right? It's not. It's not the priest. They got it wrong, all right? This disproves it, all right? What's on top here? Six of Pentacles. Why is that here? The Two of Wands. Um... They're actually making, you know, I'm not going to say they're going to give to this connection. Somebody, the moment, it's like I said, they're shooting down ideas. There are moments where this person thinks they can try it. They can, they can fix this. I can fix it. And then they shoot it down. Uh, it's because of this energy. We got to get to this. We got to peel back the layers and get here. We got to see what happens when we clarify that. If I can get rid of this, then that bodes well for somebody at, at some point might fail a couple of times, but at some point coming towards you. Uh, this definitely we're going to pull on in the extended for sure, the, the devil. Because you know when I get a devil, I get very excited about the extended. This is a very exciting extended. Let's go with the Wheel of Fortune. Why is it here? Tell me about it. Tell me about the wheel. Why is it here? It's crossed by the... Uh, Queen of Wands. Um, it's a superficial energy. It's somebody's own. This is an energy where somebody's lies come back to haunt them. Okay, I don't know what it means yet, but I can say with this in the environmental energy, somebody's lies come back to haunt them. And I get it. It's like that. There's the truth right there in a part of our overall energy, the Queen of Truth. These two, these two queens do not like to have lunch together. This queen finds this one fluffy and superficial, right? Not interested. Real, you know, puff piece. This one over here finds this one scary because they speak the truth. And this one don't want anything to do with the truth, right? This is it. This is the energy of someone who wants the $20,000 purse but only makes 40 grand a year, but they buy the purse anyway. This is the energy that says you probably shouldn't do that. It doesn't work mathematically. 
Right? Okay. Bad idea. Yeah, you know. Anyway, it is what it is. You know, somebody's lies are coming back to bite them in this energy. They, it's like they all coming up at once for review. What's on top? Yeah. What did I say? What did I say? Rewind. Eight swords. Somebody's lies are coming back to haunt them and they feel trapped. They feel trapped in this energy. Everything's changing. Everything's... Yeah, the, the environmental energy is a fucking tornado or whirlpool. And it's wrapping up old business in the lead up to the equinox. And it's taking your person for a ride here. Because they weren't here to hear my intro. They weren't here to hear what I said in the pre-shuffle. Alright? And they're just fucking whatever. This devil energy goes away the moment you acknowledge that you're not listening to your soul. The moment you acknowledge it's there, it's gone. And that's all it takes. Obviously, they're not acknowledging it's there. Because it, they're, it, they're allowing this goat to keep them trapped here. All right? um, why is the eight swords here? Five swords. Just checking my energy read. Right? Five swords. Sabotage. All the ways they've lied. All the ways they've, they've, they've cheated. Uh, all the ways they, they ran a marathon. Got in a cab. A one mile in, took the cab ride for, tw for, for 24 miles and then ran the last mile like they was, you know, a superstar, right? All that, all of it, all of it coming back to bite them. All the ways they cheated, lied, stole, shortchanged themselves, self sabotaged themselves, it's all there, okay? It's all coming back. And they think it's coming from the soul. They think so. There's a lot of gloom and doom here, okay? But there are moments of clarity provided by that Hierophant energy. Let's see what falls on top of this. I'm going to be very curious here. Tell me about the goat with its feet on fire. Tell me about the devil here. <laughs> Fucker. I hate this frequency of devil energy. Oh, I know you shouldn't say hate, but I can, I'm going to say it. I hate this frequency of devil energy because it ruins a lot of people's lives. It does. Too many people think they, they listen into the soul and they're not. I'll give you a tip. You don't have to think you're listening to the soul. You just know. Soul comes with faith attached to it. You just know you're listening to the soul. Anytime, if there's even a question, it's not. You're not. I'll tell you what. That's when this, it, like a crisis of faith, right? You spend your whole life in service of whatever. Your, whatever your belief system is, right? You spend your whole life and things start going wrong, right? Things start going backwards. Things start going catawampus on you. Right? You get that crisis of faith. What's, what was it all for? Maybe I was wrong. That's this energy creeping in. As soon as it does, you need to acknowledge and shut it down and go, no, I was right. No, no, no. What am I, what am I saying? And it shuts it down immediately. This person's not shutting this down, and that worries me. Why is the devil here? They're coming up with their solutions all around them, and they ain't taking them. They're not taking the solutions. Why is the devil here? All right, let's go. Okay, all right. That's it. Let's look together. It's crossed by the Knight of Wands. Give me a minute. Oh, well, not a minute. I just need a couple of seconds. I know what I want to say. It's a fast-moving energy. Things, things feel like it's what I said here. This energy flows 5D to 3D. That's primary energy flow. Okay? It feels like things are moving too fast. It's what I said. I called this like Dorothy's house in the tornado, right? The whirlpool. You get caught in a whirlpool, it's going to seem like things are going too fast. If you're at Dorothy's house and it's spinning through, that's what it feels like to this person. It feels like things are moving too fast. They don't have time to think. They don't have time to feel. Mm -hmm. So, there's your five cups underneath that, which is red with five cups over here. So, you see? Feels like it's going too fast. They don't know what to do. Feels like everything's over. Woe is me. Gloom and doom. Look at the devastation in the background. Somebody call the clank and wagon. Right? Somebody, somebody call it. Call it. Call it. <laughs> I can bargain. What's going on? Knight, uh, Knight of Wands. Why is, the, uh, why is the devil here? The King of Wands. They're listening to their ego. It's just backing up my energy read. We may need to double verify this. On the surface energy, it's backing up what I told you. And everything I just taught you about how the devil does not take over someone's soul. It doesn't happen. It surrounds it. It creates an illusion. The soul is perfectly fine. Even in the worst serial killer, the soul is completely fine. The message just can't get through. Either the heart chakra is shut down and it can't get to the brain, or this devil energy has surrounded the soul and it can't get past that. Either way, it's perfectly fine. If we could get rid of this energy, they'd be perfectly fine. Unfortunately, in some cases, we can't. This energy gets so thick, it doesn't go anywhere. It's not the case with your person here. 
your person is not I'm giving an extreme example I want you to understand this this person is not a, a, a serial killer or some shit like that they just somebody who's mistaken they're listening to their ego they're mistaking their ego for the soul this is ego and this is ego this is an egomaniac it's the Burger King it's a narcissist right they're listening to their ego but they think it's the soul so I've got all ego energy in the soul position why is the king of wands here the ace of swords they're acting on the truth that they believe is coming from the soul and the base energy just verified my read and yep it feels like everything's going fast it's causing them to, to realize everything is all torn down all is lost anytime you get in a mindset anytime this is for you anytime you you get in a mindset all is lost woe is me that's this frequency of energy shut it the fuck down say no it isn't stop it right I was never lost there's always a way that message there's always a way is ingrained any real deal energy reader will tell you it keeps us up at night it rings it's always there you learn to tune it out but it's the first thing you hear when you're a little kid and you first pick up on the fact that you can pick up on things it's it's a band of energy that just flows through and it translates to there's always a way there's always a way it just keeps echoing over and over and over through the energy all right it's just a frequency of energy it's not literal right but it but that's what the energy translates to right? this person here I'm gonna double clarify this okay I am I am and I'm gonna take the five of cups with it all right I'm gonna take that and that okay let's do it I'm gonna grab another deck I'm gonna grab the light seer which randomly at the bottom is five wands that's five wands so I know I got the right deck let's double clarify the devil tell me more go deeper Oh, we'll go super deep in the extended. <laughs> but right now, this just backed up my read on it. This is this just backed up everything I said. They're listening to their ego, believing it is truth, and they and they truthfully believe that it's the that it's their soul talking. On their level, it's more just talking about their soul connections and stuff like that. But this is the same thing that happens to some crazy wacko, to Pen Pennywise the clown, right? They think they're on a fucking mission. You know, they're not. Mission from God. No, no. No, 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 no. Um, all right, let's go. Devil, let's go. Mm -hmm. It's funny, too, because this shit is so easy to shut down. You just acknowledge it. That's all you got to do. I swear to God. That's it. That's all you got to do. It's crossed by, now, when we double verify it, it's crossed by a page of pentacles, which is fueled by two cups. It's sort of like that energy where deep down, way down underneath this, behind this wall of devil energy that's keeping inside the soul all is well. Your connection is fine. Somebody will eventually figure this out, is what the universe is saying. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, strength. Your soul is, your connection is fine. The two of pentacles. It's just sitting there. It's, it's, this is like um, round and round the infinity symbol. It's like an idling car in the driveway, right? It's, it's just an idling car. It's just sitting there. It's running. It's fine. It's great. Somebody's heart chakra needs to open. Once they do, they'll go, oh, oh, I feel it now. It's still there, right? That's it. I mean, your connection is fine. There's, there's no doubt about it. It's perfectly fine. Underneath that, right now, that devil energy is surrounding the soul energy. And they're, they're believing it like it's coming from the soul, that it's over. So it's creating a lot of despair. Which is what I warned you about in the pre-shuffle. I said, you're taking care of old business, but the energy's chaotic. It's going to feel worse than it is. You may not understand it. You may, what, what, don't overthink it. All right? Just be cool. That's all you can do in any energy, really. Now, they're shooting down ideas. That's what the universe wants to tell us. Let's talk about Three Pentacles. All right? It's an important month. It's an important reading. It's a month where Pluto goes back into Capricorn. All right, let's go. Three Pentacles. Let's go. I'm still shuffling. A lot of shuffling for this reading. It's chaotic energy. It's tough. All right, come. Okay, see? That's it. Finally, we done. It's crossed by the Six of Cups. Ah. Oh. Can't see. The, the universe is saying they're not seeing the forest for the trees. I said that before, but it's saying it again. Um, the solutions... <laughs> The answer is blowing in the wind. I mean, can we get a little folk music -y with it? It's a little of that. I mean, the solution lives in you two coming together. 
That's what cancels this devil energy out. It's almost like this person needs reassurance of something. I don't know what. And I can't say this is your long lost runner. I'm sure your long lost runner is going to be in chaos, chaos, chaotic hell at a distance. This could be all. This could be several soulmates attached to you. New family that want to say something to you that you don't want to get closer. Or whatever friend. It could be a, 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 a someone who's holding on to feelings. I don't know. Tower. Yeah. It, again, it's this. The thought of giving to this connection sends this person into eight swords. It sends them into a tizzy. The thought of, but at the same time, the thought of the connection being over sends this person into eight swords, sends them into a tizzy. I get it because we had the tower after the cut with that full reverse that flew out. All of this is message from the universe as was the cut card position. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a bit of a paradox in a way. Why is the tower here? The chariot. Yeah, again. Um, the universe seems to think that for you, this Ace of Cups, for them, it's becoming toxic. It's, 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 they're, they're losing their fucking mind. Um, the universe seems to think that for you, though, it means they show up. That they just, there's some snap decision made. But it's somebody not showing up with angel energy in the soul. Okay, so why is the, uh, what is the Ace of Cups? Let's flip it. What does the Ace of Cups mean to my viewer? Oh no. Oh God. Oh yeah, they show up. Just judgment. Why is judgment here? The five of pentacles. We got one more. It fell on the floor. Oh, two more. They fell on the floor like that. They match the deck. So we just take them. We'll take that. The Queen of Wands. And the Ace of Cups. It's a feedback loop. <laughs> Son of a bitch. The Ace of Cups ties back to the Ace of Cups. Bottom of the deck, let's just get the whole picture, is the devil. What did I say? Look, you saw the cards fly out. I'm just picking them up. Okay? This is how they fell. And there's your Ace of Cups on top of your Ace of Cups. And there's your devil. I said, they're showing up. I said, rewind. I said, the universe seems to be saying that for you, for them, this Ace of Cups becomes toxic. That devil stays in the soul. They're showing up. Right? With a little bit of devilish soul energy there's there's the environmental energy of them showing up there's the devil um they do show up there's karma here that's trying the universe is trying to wrap it up it's trying to do what it does the environmental energy is trying to wrap up old business okay because that old business is out of balance it's big time out of balance the five and fives are a changing point fives are a turning point we got five here is our overall energy we get a five here why are they showing back up? Why are we resolving this karma now? Because it's time to change things. We have a season change coming up. All right? The Ace of Cups and the Five of Pentacles are red with the Five of Swords. I think it's a little self-defeating in this energy. I think somebody can't understand it. I think it's your job. I think if they're showing up, part of the karma to it is this angel light shining in. I think you might want to... You're getting this information here, so maybe you point out to them that they're not really... Listening, they're, they're, they're panicking for no reason. Okay? They're panicking for no reason. They're freaking out. I've got somebody here who's just, again, doesn't even, uh, just this superficial energy, this fakey McFakerman thing that that was crossing over here. Right? It was there. It was the nonsense. It was somebody here whose lies are catching up to them. You know, just allow that to happen. You just point out to this person the error of their ways. There's nothing else you can do. I'm going to pull a couple more cards on this. I am. I have to. All right, I have to. I'm surprised the video isn't being more glitchy than it is. I've had to stop the damn thing and reset it twice already. Fuck. All right, let's go. What else you want to tell me about? I want to know more about uh, the karma with the Queen of Wands. I get this string of energy. I get it. And tied to the devil. I get it. But yeah, the Knight of Cups. So somebody's showing up. Ten swords, because yeah, and the devil, and there's the devil. We can't get rid of it. I can't get rid of the devil. It's still there. I mean, we gotta pull the shit out of that in the extended. But yes, yeah, somebody's showing up, but they're only showing up because of the chaos. There, it's not so much that they're chaotic, although it feels it to me. If, but the easiest way for me to explain this energy and why I went deeper, I wanted to see if the devil came back, and it did. Look at that. They're showing up because they feel like it's over. I think if you show them that it's not, that maybe there's a chance we could be friends even if I'm not interested in going out with you. There's a chance that we could be friends or, or we could be not. I don't know what it is. This person is convinced 
in the soul, the actual soul, that they need your energy around. Your energy benefits them in some way. It's this devil energy that has them convinced, oh, you shouldn't try, it's over, you're just going to get hurt, it's going to hurt your ego, it's going to this and that and the other thing. They're only showing up because they feel like it's over. That's not the best energy to have somebody show up in. Okay, They're not understanding the chaos of September's wrapping up old business energy the way you are. I think your side is thriving a little better in this energy. And I'll pull on you in the extended, and I'll pull on you in a minute with the final message from the universe. I think you're thriving a little more in this energy. Be why? Because you read my write-up in the blog and you watched this reading. And they didn't. And I think people that don't understand this energy, it's going to be a tough month for a lot of people. They're going to jump to conclusions. They're going to freak out. They're going to absolutely go crazy. Right? A rose by any other name is a rose just the same. Right? It may sound scarier, but a Klunkenwagen is just a fucking ambulance. That's all it is. It's not a crazy thing. It's just somebody here is just making mountains out of molehills. Alright. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Alright, let's go. What else do you want to tell everybody here? What do you want to tell my people before I go pull some wicked voodoo? I got the devil three times in this reading. Three fucking times. Mm. I got a lot to pull on in regards to this incoming energy. I got towers. I got devils. I got reversed fools. I got... Jesus. Unreal. Uh, I'll, I'll open the extended by pulling on you. Right now I'm pulling on you. What, what do you want to tell them, universe, before I go pull some wicked voodoo on this? Let's go. Three cards from the bottom and a crossing card. What do you want to tell my people? The page of wands. Three of wands. Look at... Look. What did I say? What did I fucking say? I said, I think your side is handling this better because you've read my write-up, you've watched this reading, you know what's going on, I've told you the energy. All right? And a lot of people aren't going to pick up. A lot of other readers and a lot of astrology and stuff are not going to pick up on the fact that the, of the whirlpool chaotic energy in the lead up to the equinox here. Because they just don't know about picking up and looking at surrounding energies like the weather and things like that. That means something. I mean, I, I, I've, it's, it's extremely important. The, how the, the energy is just, it's not just going to go away. Those energies are going to run headlong into the equinox. So as it's wrapping up energy, it's going to be crazy. I think you're handling it just fine. i got the King of Swords. You know exactly what to do. right? I've got you looking in new directions, looking toward new adventures, and taking action toward things. I think for your side of things, I think the Mars and Cancer benefits you. And I wrote about that. I said, this time around, normally Mars hates being in Cancer. But this time around, there's something about the way the energy works. That as long as you don't fight battles, you can't win. Right? Stupid, meaningless things. And, and, and just focus on, focus on where you're going or more importantly, where you'd like to go. Alright? Daydreams. This whirlpool effect, as I wrote in my blog write-up, has the power to bite you in the ass if you try to fight this energy like this side is. Or it can take anything you could dream up and shoot it out into the ether the way the, the tornado picked up Dorothy's house in the old Wizard of Oz. All right? uh, I think that's what you're doing. I think you're, you're focused on where you're going or where you'd like to go. Daydream yourself some new adventures and walk the path in the daydreams. It's extremely important. It, the energy around you, the environmental energy as far as wrapping up old business and three of swords, it'll take care of itself. It'll settle itself. It's a Buddhist principle. It will settle itself. It'll take care of it for you. This side over here thinks that they're in control of things. I need to take control. You, 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 you control nothing. And you're sure as hell not going to control a fucking uh, tornado, whirlpool, or water spout. Right? Like one of my favorite Jimmy Buffett song titles or album titles. I can't remember which. It's been a long time. It was trying to reason with a hurricane, right? You ain't going to reason with a hurricane. This side over here is trying to do that. And, it's by, it's, and I get three devils and two towers. Three towers and three devils in this reading. Unreal. And two ten of swords, all right? And two toxic ace of cups. There's a chance for a new beginning here with this person. I think your job is very clear because the devil came out twice. There's some karma to blow out with this person. It's their part of your old business, whoever they are. But you shine the light. 
At the very least, when this person walks away from you, from you, you tell them what I told you about this devil. You know, in however you need to. You think you're listening to your soul, but you're not. You're listening to a goat, motherfucker. All right? And then make a goat noise if you can. It's always a nice effect. All right. That's your, <laughs> that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. I've done my best for you in this energy. I wrote a huge fucking article. It took me two days to fucking put that together. All right? And I've done, taken my time in this reading, and I, which I know that thousands of people just skipped and fast forwarded through. That's fine. That's on you. That's tough energy this month. Good luck to you. I wish everybody luck. But I've done my job. That said, I'm going to go do my job a little even more. Right? Even more, even better. I'm going to pull an extended. If you want the extended, the link's in the description. I'll open with you. We'll find out maybe a little bit about where you're going. And we're going to talk about three devils, three towers, and two ten of swords on the incoming energy for sure. We'll see what this means for you. All right? That's your reading. Hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Good luck.